Hello, welcome in to another Andy Drinks Beer. Today we are rolling with Bank Brewing Company's Beer for Wildlife's Walleye Chop Lager. I'm, I'm really excited for this one. And since it's a tall boy, this is going to be a longer video. Uh, sitting outside, nice, beautiful, hot, very, very, very hot day today. And uh, I, since it's the backyard and uh, our air conditioning unit's right over there, I had to turn it off because otherwise it's going to be too loud in the video. Yeah, wife's going to kill me, but whatever. Uh, right away, you'll notice from the, the walleye chop lager, it's um, very nice, golden, ambery, copper. And you, you get a lot of hops right away. It stings the nostrils, but in a good way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There we go. Not a bad pour at all. And uh, Beck Brewing, the pride of Hendricks, Minnesota, right on beautiful Lake Hendricks on the South Dakota, Minnesota border. It's like between uh, Watertown, it's west of Marshall. Yeah, west of Marshall. What's up, baby? Uh, and funny thing, if you look up Hendricks, Minnesota on Google Maps, is the first image that pops up. You know, like the stock, like town image. Yeah, uh, Bank Brewing uh, must be a big deal there. Founded in 2008 and uh, gives back to conservation and wildlife, which even if you're not, um, actually, let's take a sip first. Oh, man, 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 that, that is really good. As far as uh, like, like darker lagers go, I, I'm much more of a lager than an IPA guy. This is technically classified as American Pale Ale, excuse me, American Pale lager and it's um yeah it's it, it's really smooth it's definitely crushable uh which is our first of our five criteria and this is gonna be a good beer as i'm pretty sure that was just a wolf whatever uh but the outdoors hunting fishing everything that's a big part of the minnesota identity even if you don't hunt or fish yourself it's a big part of our tourism. It's a big part of our sort of the Minnesota ethos. So the fact that they're giving back uh, is really cool. And yeah, another reason to support uh, local Minnesota companies. Not only does it keep money in state, but if it goes towards a good cause that you're passionate about, I mean, that's a win-win-win, right? Hmm. So I already went over crushable or sipper. First of our five criteria. Uh, number two is what food to pair well with this. Number three, compared to a movie or TV show. Four, what does this remind me of? What memories does this evoke? And number five, uh, our, our tried and true scale, one out of 10 Reuben Stutters, 10 being the best, one being Reuben Stuttered. How does this beer stack up? So, yeah, I'm going go back in, I don't care. Now, what food to go well with this? I, 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 mean, I, I mean, I mean, it's pretty easy, right? Uh, walleye fish fry I mean come on and uh, uh, beer batter is really big but I would not waste this on a beer batter I, I, I know that it's it's a sign of a uh, high class if you can uh, afford uh, you know, a nice high priced beer as part of your beer batter or if you're doing beer broths whatever now uh, I tend to like American domestics uh, Mil when I make uh, beer batter like Miller Lite is usually my go-to because you get a little bit more you get a little bit more flavor a little bit pilsnery it, it tastes and it also stays light and so you know walleye fish fry or sunnies uh or whatever you, whatever you catch that day you're just right on the banks and then you, you get that big cast iron skillet going with you got some peanut oil in there and then all right so here's my here's my beer batter uh so you got the miller light or whatever light beer you got uh, around uh eggs eggs flour uh lots of salt and pepper like aggressive on the salt because it, it's really easy for it to just kind of get washed down and then all of a sudden you, you're eating like a you know like a mini donut right you, you don't understand you don't remember that eating something savory and i i know you probably go to town Ooh, lots of lemon lots and lots of lemon so as that thing comes out of the fryer uh, out of the pan onto some paper towels uh lemon right across the top not not too early though yeah you know, right before you're about to eat it because otherwise it gets that batter really soggy. I, I'm all big about the golden brown batter as well. Uh, yeah, Andy Cook's Food podcast coming soon. First to a TV uh, show or movie. Oh, I mean, it's got to be Coach, right? Da -da 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 uh, the show by Hayden Fox. He 
coached the Minnesota State um, football team, which is, so he had a cabin, uh, it, he lived in a cabin out in the woods, except he coached a team which was theoretically said in Minneapolis, I think it was, so uh, homeboy must have had a drive, but whatever, that's perfectly fine, but Minnesota outdoors, man's man as uh, Craig T. Nelson was, yeah, that's pretty suitable. Now, what does this beer remind me of? Now, uh, I'm not a hunter, but I understand and respect the tradition. Uh, but same thing with fishing. Not too big of a fisherman. Like, honestly, if I never fished again the rest of my life, unless my kids get into it, uh, the, the father-in-law is really big into fishing. And uh, as a kid, I was taking on trips. Uh, both my great uncles had cabins, uh, one on Mille Lacs, one on Spirit Lake. And then every summer, you know, me and my grandparents would go up and we'd fish and it was great because uh, a lot of the times what we would do is we would eat what we caught so i, I remember one time we between the four of us uh four four people went that day it we brought in like a hundred sunfish and i that was uh the day that i learned to fillet a fish i just remember th those little sunfish and just like that little curved uh serrated knife just going through and just getting like the little thinnest fillet and uh, that's something from my chef life that I always like doing, so something I always volunteered for, was flying fish because it's I don't know there, there's just something therapeutic about it, and there's something that's respectful of hey, we're taking your life, you gave your life to us, and we're going to make sure that we get as much nourishment and sustenance from you as possible. So I, I never wasted anything of fillet. I always kept like the fish collars. We always make stew out of that, and yeah, just like. Cutting up a nice walleye, making sure you get every ounce of, of meat that you can possibly get off that thing. Yeah, there's something special about that. That's what that reminds me of. All right, now one out of ten Ruben Studdards. I'm going to go ten. I'm going to go ten out of ten Ruben Studdards. That's our first ten. The, the bank brewing company's walleye, chop, lager... I'm gonna go pick up a case of this. I really am. It's um, it, it's dark, it's smooth, it's delicious. And what, what's the? I didn't even look up what's the. Da, 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 this. Uh, but here's from their website. Uh, to, uh, 2010, the beer, uh, bank beer company launched Walleye Chop Lager, a copper lager. Walleye Chop pours a clear copper color with good body and head, made with North Dakota barley, two row light caramel malt, carpels. And a touch of oats give walleye chop has a refreshing flavor that leaves a crisp bite. It's puzzle of happy citrus and floral aroma and slight pine is well balanced with a subtle bread backbone. This hop lager is made for a session. Details are in the greens. Enjoy and be refreshed. 10 out of 10. You have this with some delicious, just a fish fry. It can be sunnies. It can be walleyes. Not pike. No, nobody enjoys eating pike. It can be cod. Just deliciousness. Ha have a ton of coleslaw and ta uh, tartar sauce around. Just yeah, uh, uh, amazing. Uh, mash that subscribe button right around there. If you're on Facebook, give us a like uh, as well. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, all at Andy Carlson Show. Make sure to tune in next time for the next episode of Andy Drinks Beer. Also, ooh, comment section below. Suggestions. We'll pick them up. Do it up.